The Bible says, By faith Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, not knowing whither he went. Here the Lord begins Abraham's entry in the so-called Hall of Faith, as Hebrews 11 is called, by talking about Abraham's obedience. We often think about his faith, but that faith led Abraham to obey. Because he believed God, he was inclined to obey God. And Abraham's life, the great man that he was, was a life of obedience. He obeyed God to leave his home and travel to a place that God was directing him. He obeyed God to separate from Lot, his own kin, his own family, as difficult as that may have been. He obeyed God to take the most precious thing in his world, his only son Isaac, and be willing to offer him for a sacrifice to God. Yes, Abraham obeyed. And if you want to be great for God in any way, shape, or form, you and I must learn to obey. God is God. He may tell you to go somewhere you do not understand. The Lord asks you to obey. The Lord may ask you to separate from something today that is not good for you, that may be holding you back, someone that may be holding you back. He asks you to obey. He may press that button and tug on that string for you to lay loose of something precious to you, to see if you're willing to let it go, the Lord is asking for you to obey. Samuel told Saul to obey is better than sacrifice. The Lord is looking for your obedience. If you want to be great for God, like Abraham, like so many others, you simply need to obey. Obey God, and you too can be great for God.